Good morning. So, updates. I got woken up this morning at 5.45 by my dog, kindly alerting me to the fact that Stephen was up and active and walking around the house. As you can see, he has the full use of his legs again, which is very pleasing. He seems in high spirits, but he definitely wanted out of the house. So I gave him a few more sardines and some bread, and he hydrated himself a little. And then he had a groom. Soon after that, I decided that I'd open the door and let him have a free roam around the garden. And then basically he did what I was hoping he would do. He happily walked the 30 meters down to the shore and onto the beach. He immediately hopped up onto a big rock about 10 meters out in the water and he just perched himself there quite happily, no worries in the world. Unfortunately, because I'm using my laptop to record these videos right now, I wasn't able to, to take my device with me to the beach as it was raining pretty hard. But I will be checking up on him again later when the rain stops, so please do stay tuned for updates. In the next clip, you're going to see him wandering around the garden and uh, also another little surprise for you. So after I opened the door for Stephen, he decided life in captivity was no fun anymore and shortly after I shot this video, he waddled down to the beach with me in tow. Uh, even though he doesn't have the full use of his wings right now, he was, able, he was able to flap himself up a few feet and so he does have some basic defense against predators. Uh, I'm sure everything will be fine and I was happy to offer a brief sanctuary for him to heal up his bruises here. Who knows, maybe he'll come and say hi next time I'm on the beach. And I'll be headed down there later on once the rain stops to have a look. Um, he's able to run pretty quickly. He did a good job of outrunning me, so I just let nature take its course and let him go. Uh, on the way back from the beach now, I spotted this little fella being battered by a heron. This guy couldn't stand up. Uh, he couldn't maintain buoyancy and his head was under the water. He would have most likely drowned, but I definitely was not going to let that happen. So I simply picked him up and brought him home. I've given him some sardines and uh, he's comfortable. It feels like it's the right thing to do and I'm going to persist until the universe stops throwing these curveballs at me. Thanks for watching.